Hello again. So cold and stormy conditions as we go through the next 24 hours or so. Do have a Met Office weather warning and for us expecting strong winds, potentially gusting up to around 50, possibly even up to 60 miles per hour in places. So do be aware of that. Now as we go through the rest of the afternoon, still a bit of rain lingering across southern areas, but brighter skies from the north, but feeling chilly out there today. Highs of eight degrees. And we go through this evening and tonight it starts off quiet. Then we have got this system sinking its way south and some of that could of rain, sleet, even some snow in places and feeling very cold and it certainly will be very windy too. Bye bye. Hello again. So tricky conditions in the forecast as we go through this weekend. Cold and stormy right across the UK. It's all down to this. We've got Storm Arwen in charge of things, certainly as we go through the next 24 hours. So you can see there, there will be some showers at times. These showers could be a little bit wintry in places. It's going to be cold. The wind's driving in from a northy direction. Just look at the squeeze in those ice of ours. Very windy right across the board. Now for parts of Scotland and northeast England here, there's a red warning in forces. They could be looking at wind gusts up to around 90 miles per hour. Now not quite as windy for us but still we do have a yellow weather warning in this force because there will be some strong winds around potentially gusting up to around 50 possibly 60 miles per hour so there may be a few disruptions out there so do take care if you are heading out and about. Now, in the meantime, let's come back to tonight. Well, fairly quiet out there at the moment. We've got some clear skies holding on, but there will be showers feeding in from the north. Now, most of these will be falling as rain, but you can see here some areas will see some sleet, possibly some snow, especially across the higher ground and bitterly cold and windy out there too. Now, temperatures for most of us just hovering above freezing, but when we get sheltered areas, it will be turning much colder. So Saturday morning gets off to a bitterly cold start today. Very windy out there throughout the morning and into the afternoon afternoon we will see further showers and again these could be wintry in places too and temperature values well it goes about the same really it's going to be a cold day now we're looking at best highs there up to around three to five degrees but you factor in that wind chill well for many of us it's going to be feeling well below freezing out there bye bye Hello again. So tricky conditions in the forecast as we go through the next 24 hours or so. It'll be feeling very cold out there and stormy. It's all down to this here. We've got Storm Arwen in charge of things. You can see here driving quite a few showers. Those showers could be wintry in places. The wind's coming down from the north, which means it's going to be feeling pretty cold out there. And you can see the squeeze in the isobars, very windy right across the board. Now there is a red weather warning in force across parts of Scotland and northeast England. As here, they could be looking at wind gusts up to around 90 miles per hour. Now, nothing like that for us, but still we've got a yellow weather warning in force. So we could still be looking at wind gusts up to around 50, possibly 60 miles per hour. So there could be a few disruptions out there. So do take care if you are heading out and about. Now, in the meantime, for the rest of tonight, well, we've got some clear skies around, but you can see we've got frequent showers moving in from the north. Now, most of the showers tend to fall as rain, but you can see here some of them will be of sleet and snow, especially across the higher ground. It's going to be bitterly cold out there. We've got strong northerly winds and temperatures just about hovering above freezing, although in sheltered areas it will be turning much colder. So it really will be a very windy start today on Saturday morning. Do watch out for that wind. It's going to be cold out there too. Still some sleet and snow potentially in one or two areas. As we go through the afternoon though you can see still the odd shower around but for most of us actually a drier end to the day with some sunshine poking through for many. The winds easing off a touch though still fairly bree breezy out there and cold too. Highs of four degrees but you factor in that wind chill. Well for many of us it's going to be feeling well below freezing out there. Bye bye. Hello again. Hope you've all had a lovely day so far. Well, the weather story is certainly a tricky one as we go through this weekend. Cold, wintry and stormy for many. You can see we've got Storm Arwen. That's going to be dominating as we go through this weekend. Now you can see there we'll be bringing a few showers at times and also very windy, windy right across the UK, as you can see by the squeeze on these isobars. Now for us, we've got a red weather warning in force. That's valid from overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We could be looking at force 10 winds out towards the sea, force nine inland, so damaging gusts in places. So do take care if you are heading out and about.
Now, in the meantime, coming back to tonight, where you can see here, there will be still a few showers feeding their way across us at times. Some clear skies in between, and the winds really start to whip up as we edge overnight. Howling winds during the overnight period, and that's with temperatures there around four to six degrees. So not the best start today. Tomorrow morning, it will be very windy out there indeed. We'll still see one or two showers. These showers could have some hail, possibly some thunder mixed in there too. Might be the odd bit of brightness as we go through the afternoon, but all in all, it is an unsettled picture as we go through Saturday. It's staying windy and that wind really taking the edge off those temperatures. Highs at the best tomorrow up to around 7 degrees and that's very rough sea states. And speaking of which, here are your tide times for tomorrow. You can see just around 10.48 in the morning at St Helier and again around a quarter to 12 in the evening. So hopefully on Sunday, more in the way of sunshine and those winds will be a little lighter too. Hello and a very good evening to you. Hope you've all had a lovely Friday so far. Well, wintry, stormy conditions in the forecast as we go through the start of this weekend. We do have an amber weather warning force for overnight tonight and into Saturday as we are expecting those winds to turn even stronger, potentially gusting up to around 70 miles per hour along some northern and western areas. So these could be damaging gusts. So do take care if you are heading out and about. Now for the rest of tonight, you can see it's a messy affair out there. We've still got further showers blowing in that very strong northerly wind and those showers falling as rain, sleet and snow in places. In sheltered areas we may see a frost but for most of us with that wind we will be staying frost free. So tomorrow morning gets off to a very windy start to the day tomorrow morning first thing. There will be one or two showers around but for most of us I think we'll see, get to see a good deal of dry weather as we go through the day. Bright or sunny spells. The winds will ease off a touch but still fairly brisk and we're looking at a top temperature of six degrees and you factor in that wind chill well it's going to be feeling below freezing for most of us. Bye bye.